Hallo, und da sind wir auch schon wieder. Und es gibt da... Wir machen da weiter, wo wir zu... ...zuletzt aufgehört haben. Das heißt, fröhliches... ...fröhliches, äh... Farmen. Habe ich da hinten nicht... Nee. Hey. Ha! If it's useful, I'll take it. Ja, ähm, Wie... ...useful das jetzt so war... Naja... Gott. Das sind diese anderen Erinnerungsbären, ne? <lacht> ah, scheint Ewigkeiten her. Those memories. So dark. Komm, einfach noch mal schauen. <lacht> nee, hier dürfte eigentlich nichts sein, aber... Ich meine, wie oft sind wir das schon abgelaufen? <lacht> naja. Gut, dass ich nicht bei Greenpeace bin. Äh, nee, dünn. Lass mal. Ähm. Oder noch schlimmer bei der Peter. Gott. Wobei die Peter noch mal eine ganz andere Nummer ist. Aber naja. Nö. Ernsthaft? There's quality here. Hm. Ah ja, ich bin mal gespannt, wie es weitergehen wird. So. Will der jetzt wirklich die ganze Strecke bis nach Mondstadt laufen? Ja, will er. Ich muss ja irgendwie die Zeit voll kriegen. Und ich will nicht die ganze Zeit nur vorlesen. Oder irgendwelche Billo. Äh. Irgendwelche Billo Fatui wegkloppen. Zum Platz der Kathedrale, okay. Hey. Naja. Was machst du da? Ich brauche deine Hilfe nicht. 
was soll das? Ich will dieses Schwert hier rausziehen. Wie du willst es für dich haben. Ich habe es zuerst gedeckt. Entdeckt, wenn ich dieses Schwert herausziehen könnte. Ach, ich weiß auch nicht, was da passieren wird, aber es wird sicher grandios werden. Sieh dir all den Rost an und den Winkel, in dem es im Boden steckt. Alles ist so perfekt, da muss es ein wirklich legendäres Schwert sein, ganz sicher. Mit ihm könnte ich gemeinsam mit Papa auf Abenteuer gehen und, und der Abenteurergilde beitreten. Äh, eher wirst du der nächste König von Mondstadt. Äh, bevor das passiert, wird er die Attentäterin der Kathedrale ihn assassinieren. <lacht> Gott, ich find's immer noch... Ich find's einfach so... <lacht> unbeschreiblich, dass Venti, der Gott, der sich am allerwenigsten um seine, äh, um seine Stadt kümmert, Bisher der einzige mit dem wirklichen Kult um ihn herum ist. Und er hat dann auch noch einfach nicht nur einen Templerorden, sondern auch noch einen Assassinenorden. Okay. Ähm. Das, äh. Ja. You finally arrived. There's no time to spare, so we'll begin with our first lesson. Wait, hold on. There's something we need to clear up first. Otherwise it'll keep bugging us. Wegen deiner Rache. Du wartest doch nicht immer noch darauf, dich zu rächen, oder? Doch natürlich, Rache ist etwas, was man am besten kalt serviert. Und deshalb ist sie Kryonutzerin. So that's still on your mind, huh? Maybe you're the ones who can't let things go. <laughs> Don't worry. There's a time and place for exacting vengeance. Besides, I'm not in the mood for any right now. Best save it for later. Uh, you need to be in the right mood for vengeance. I already have a long list of vengeance to exact. Even if I wanted to begin now, I'd have to start in the right order. Who knows how long it will be before I get to you. <laughs> well, if you have so much to take care of, Wouldn't it just be easier to give us a clean slate? Absolutely not. Stealing my targets, calling me a ruthless ruler, and suspecting my uncle. All worthy of vengeance in my eyes. Äh, uh, ja. Äh, uh, sie hat wirklich alles aufgeschrieben. Das war also nicht nur leeres Gerede. But you needn't worry, at least not whilst we're investigating this matter. I'm sure you're familiar with the phrase, a man of moral integrity fears no slanderous attack. If Uncle Schubert didn't commit any wrongdoing, then any such investigation will prove fruitless. But if he did commit a wrongful act, then he should bear the full punishment. I'm sure you understand. Ah, uh, den meisten mittlerweile schon. Good. Now... There are two key points that aristocrats attach great importance to. Your manner of speech and your bearing. Let's begin with your manner of speech. Aristocrats have a very unique way of carrying conversation, even with mundane daily topics. Oh, Paimon's already learned some unique conversation. Mark my words, vengeance will be mine! <laughs> um... Not even close. And besides, it sounds strange. Hey! Hyman learned it from you! And didn't you say not to call others strange? It seems you don't respect the rules of your own clan. Uh... No, I've no need to trouble myself with such frivolous formalities. Here, allow me to demonstrate. For example, when greeting a friend, you could say... As the morning dew greets the coming dawn, so do I greet you, my dear friend. Uh, as the morning dew does what now? However, such a phrase may only be used during the morning hours. Also, the party with whom you're speaking must be of approximately the same status as you. Morning dew is not uncommon, so it expresses that friendship should not be measured by value, yet also suggests that friendship between aristocrats is pure like water. 
Das hört sich aber sehr umständlich an, nur um einen Freund zu grüßen. Oh, no, no, no. You must be prudent with your words. Calling someone a good friend could easily offend them. Uh, but didn't you just say my dear friend in your example? Hyman's confused. Yes, I did. But you must know in the Lawrence family, dear friend is a set phrase that can only be used towards certain friends with whom one is acquainted, but not particularly close. It sounds much more pleasant to call an acquaintance a dear friend. So, another thing to remember. Aristocrats are concerned with face and being polite. However, if you were to use dear friend to address an intimate friend, the recipient would think that you were deliberately trying to estrange them. Wie kompliziert. So was braucht man doch normalerweise gar nicht. This is only the first step in making a greeting. After addressing one another, you then exchange courtesies. Wait, wait. This is all too abstract. <laughs> um, perhaps it would be better if you gave some real-life demonstrations. Ah. Very well. Come with me. We'll choose some bystanders to converse with. Oh je. <lacht> und halte mit dich, dich mit den Einheimischen und beobachte, was Euler veranschaulicht. Ach du je. Oh, you're Eula of the Lawrence Clan, right? This can't be good. <lacht> okay. <lacht> You there, lowly laborer. You stand in the presence of a member of the illustrious Lawrence clan. I have words for you. Please acknowledge the glory bestowed upon thee by the nobility... Uh... What comes next? Uh... Oh, right. By solemnly kneeling to the ground with utmost sincerity. Huh? I can't make heads or tails of anything you're saying. <sighs> Hold on. What did they always teach me? Whenever a dispute arises, protection of your family's prestige and dignity always takes precedence. <sighs> Got it. <clears throat> As a lowly commoner, you shall maintain absolute reverence when speaking with those under which you so graciously toil. How dare you speak in such a manner? Uh, is everyone from the Lawrence clan so strange? The days of the Lawrence clan's tyranny have long passed. I don't care what you're trying to do. Just beat it. Du hast das missverstanden. Sie soll mir nur ein Unterrichtsbeispiel zeigen. Like I said, I don't care what you're doing. I have nothing to say to any member of the Lawrence clan. And here's a word of advice. I wouldn't be caught dead walking too closely with any one of their like in Mondstadt. If that's all, I'll be going. I'm afraid I won't be able to control myself if we talk any longer. Uh, hey, hey, don't leave. Uh, halt. Oh, mark my words, vengeance will be mine. Uh, the Lawrence name really does carry a terrible reputation. Yeah. Uh, Never mind him. I could have predicted as much. Let's find someone else. Ich überlege mir gerade, was passiert, wenn sie auf Venti trifft. Oh, das wäre. Obwohl, nee, Venti würde das wahrscheinlich torpedieren, aber er würde es doch relativ ernst nehmen. Ich meine, er will ja nicht, dass die Leute wissen, dass er eigentlich Barbados ist. Ähm, naja, also natürlich Barbados. Äh, ja klar. Okay, genug Rosaria nachgeäfft. <lacht> you there, lowly toiler. You stand in the press. Please acknowledge the glory bestowed upon thee by the nobility and solemnly kneel to the ground with utmost sincerity. <lacht> Why don't you respond? According to the custom, I must wait until you kneel completely before I can say the next words. 
Ah, uh, right. I mustn't look at you too long, or I'll be drawing more attention to our difference in status. Oh dear, I've already stared at you for quite a while. <laughs> Fine. You may spare yourself the formality of kneeling, as it may be a little inconvenient. I shall continue. Oh, wait. I think there's a line for people with rude attitudes in this situation. Hey, stop bothering me or else I might say something you wouldn't like to hear. <laughs> and again, I've got no words for anyone from the Lawrence clan. Again? What's with this attitude? Äh, das ist aber schnell eskaliert. Ich glaube, wir sollten es lieber lassen. Ja, wahrscheinlich, weil es so... Naja, ich glaube... Jeder weiß, warum es so ist. Yes, I don't think his attitude will change. If I keep grandstanding like this, the outcome won't be good. Let's try to find someone else to talk to. Hm. I'll remember your unwillingness to comply. Mark my words, vengeance will be mine. <lacht> oh je. Ich überlege mir gerade, wenn sie auf Chong Li treffen würde oder Hu Tao. Das wäre auch interessant. Oh Gott! Ito und Rain Shogun wären auch genial. Ito... Da, da, könnt ihr euch in etwa so vorstellen wie... Im Grunde jeden einzelnen schonen Hauptcharakter jemals? Also von Son Goku über Naruto... Äh, bis hin zu Ruffy... Und Rain Shogun würde wahrscheinlich sagen, sowas sagen wie, was willst du eigentlich von mir? Du bist irgend so ein Aristokrat aus der hintersten Provinz. Du sprichst gerade mit einer Göttin. Merk dir deinen Platz, Fußvolk. <lacht> oh je. Oder aber sie würde einfach sehen, Euler hat eine hat ein Vision, ein göttliches Auge und würde sie einfach innerhalb von Sekunden fertig machen und sich das Auge nehmen. Das könnte auch sein. You there, lowly worker. I Yeah, I've already heard it all before. Look, just spare me the time. Our answer is always the same. I've got nothing to say to the likes of you. I mean, seriously, can't you just take a hint? <laughs> Please calm down. We don't want to cause any trouble. Ah, I know she's a knight of Favonius, and that the knights wouldn't misplace their trust, but the name Lawrence carries too much weight with it. Even to this very day, the descendants of the Lawrence clan are still scheming to reclaim Mondstadt and reinstate their aristocratic rule. And if that wasn't enough, Here you are purposefully using their awkward way of speaking just to put on an act? Don't you care for the feelings of us ordinary folk? You have a point. But mark my words, this transgression will not go unnoticed. Huh? You want to fight? Listen here, I may be no match for you, but I'll be sure to lodge a complaint with the Knights of Favonius. Ah. <sighs> Aber immerhin, sie will keine Rache an ihm nehmen. Also, wie würde Alucard sagen? Progress! Ich meine, gut, Timmy ist sowieso mit seinen Tauben beschäftigt. Immer auch deutlich besser, als wer er in der Kathedrale wäre. Wobei, es gibt bisher nur weibliche Kathedralen äh, Angehörige, ne? Ja. Wobei, wie nahm... Äh. I'm sorry, but I want her to understand that I'm serious. Listen here. If you don't want things to get more unpleasant, then you'd better just stop. Forget it. There's no point in quarreling any further. Let's go. <lacht> Hey, 
It's all right. This happens quite often. Let's find someone else to talk to. Uh, Hyman thinks we've seen enough now. Let's just stop. Actually, Hyman thinks we should apologize for asking you to demonstrate for us. We had no idea the feelings between the Lawrence clan and the people of Mondstadt were so bitter. <laughs> what can we do? The Lauren's name is already a dirty word among every household in Mondstadt. Even three-year-olds know the story. I see this kind of attitude all the time. Dass du darüber noch lachen kannst. Ich habe fast ein bisschen Mitleid mit dir. Aber nur fast. Lumin, what the fuck? <lacht> yeah, ja, ich weiß. Evil Lumin is the best Lumin. Don't worry. What with me being a knight of Favonius, they're usually willing to speak a few words with me. Perhaps my aristocratic manner of speech provoked them today. Believe me, it's not a big issue. So this is the way things are normally for you? There's no need for them to direct their anger at you personally. That's the way things are. Perhaps it's just fate for those who have made mistakes. Accepting punishment is only fair, right? But when your family has committed atrocities, I'm afraid there's no easy path to reconciliation. As memories are carried in the city breeze, the faults of such grievances are passed from one generation to the next. It is now my turn to bear this burden. At least I have a means of living a relatively normal life compared to the elders of my family. I have nothing to be discontented about. Also, wusstest du von Anfang an, dass so etwas passieren würde? Yeah! Why were you so willing to try and demonstrate for us? Oh, that reminds me. That last person will not escape my vengeance either. What? <sighs> Let's leave it at that. Just think of it as something I like to do. But unfortunately, you probably didn't learn much from those conversations. It seems we have no other choice but to find more people to talk to. Uh, no need! Besides, the Traveler's pretty sharp, and nothing gets in our way on an adventure. Paimon thinks we got the gist of it now. Right? Right? Ja, ja, irgendwie schon. Nun, ein wenig unsicher bin ich schon noch. <lacht> es ist doch völlig egal, was die sagen. Paimon redet doch die ganze Zeit. Wir können uns ja, ich meine, im äh, Laternenritus haben wir ja mehr gesagt als in der gesamten Liebe-Story, ne? Ich meine, was war's? Wir haben dreimal gestöhnt und Happy Lantern Ride gesagt. We'll just have to roll with it for now. Let's just keep Eula from getting anyone else riled up. Well then, I'm glad you learned something. You're already halfway toward mastering aristocratic conduct. A proper manner of speech is more aesthetic than anything else. It stems from their taste for refinement. But we must also practice your bearing. I have a very effective way of training for this. Come with me to Dragonspine. <laughs> oh yeah. Ich würde aber sagen, wir hatten für heute genug Aristokraten-Training. Und, äh, ja, wir machen mal wieder Feierabend. Findet ihr nicht auch? Ja, findet ihr auch. Na dann, ihr kennt es ja. Gruß, Zynas Fan. <lacht>